Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, you basically got introduced to the repository design pattern. In this video, it is time to understand how to implement that particular repository design pattern. Well, to keep it simple, we will be only concentrating on how to implement it using the SQLite. And if you don't know how to work with SQLite, I suggest that you have a look at Android database SQLite tutorial series that is already there on CodeTutor because the intent of this series is to concentrate on MVVM not to go through SQLite. So assuming that you understand how the SQLite works, then you would have been already familiar with the to-do list adapter that we had implemented in this particular series. We have used this to-do list DB adapter in the previous MVP and MVC series as well. So we will be just reusing the same application to continue the discussion. Just to recall, this is how that application looked like. So what you have here is a to-do item and a place and you can maintain a list. So I will be adding a sample to do item and a sample place and I can add it to the list and I can even delete and modify them. For example, I can go inside by selecting on it and then I can modify it. So instead of sample to do item, modified item and modify that you can see that the to do item got modified and if you go to the previous screen you will see the modified item and you can even remove it so it's the same application only the thing is now we will be implementing it through the repository design pattern well to get started you basically create an interface and in that interface you define certain methods which will be fetching you the data so what we have done here is you create an interface to define the bare bones of the repository and the reason why we need to create an interface rather than creating a class is it makes it easy to achieve the dependency inversion and later point in time you can do a unit testing much more easily if you have done this implementation using a interface and also you have to leverage the live data and the mutable live data to expose the data from the repository what do i mean by that is if you observe the get all to do's returns a mutable live data of list of to do's and in the same way get to do returns a mutable live data of to do this is necessary so that you can use this data in your view model in an appropriate fashion and then finally if you are familiar with how to use room which is a ORM that is object relational mapping framework that Google has created for Android or SQLite then please go ahead and use room instead of using my way that is using a to-do list db adapter i have not covered room so far in any of my previous series so that is why i am trying to keep it as simple as possible in the future when i will cover room database i will probably come back to this particular mvvm design pattern and update it so that it basically completes the circle with this basic understanding i think it's time to have a look at the code so this is the application and as you can see here this is the to do list db adapter this is something that we have implemented long time back and we are going to just use it as is in our repository and you can see that now i have to do's repository here there is nothing new to this than what we had discussed earlier and then you have to do's repository implementer which implements to do repository interface and of course it has got some instance variables and the methods that it implements using the to do's list db adapter i will just debug this particular application by breakpoints so that you can understand the flow so let me debug this particular application so let me add a item here call that place would be from office and let me click on add so as you can see here the flow comes to add to do item that takes you to the insert method of the adapter and it successfully inserts and then if it is not true then i throw some kind of a exception otherwise I just get a fresh to do's from the DB adapter and then 
I set that value to a notable to do items and after that I have to refresh the data with the all to do's so that is why I am once again invoking the get all to do's which goes to the once again DB adapter and returns a fresh to do and now if you see the application you will see that the new value has got added so just to make it simple let me remove breakpoints that are there in the adapter so that we only concentrate on the repository implementer so let me add another one that invokes add to do item and after that you once again refresh the data you got a another refreshed list and you can select the individual item in the new screen view you once again get hold of the repository and here you need to maintain what is the latest to do's so that is the reason why i am getting once again get all to do's and here i need to fetch the individual to do which i will be modifying or updating so in this screen this is the modified get to do's and then i can update the item click on modify that will invoke the modify to do item from the repository and after that you need to fetch the new to do so that you can reflect the updated item you can even try to delete it so select the item and click on remove that should invoke the remove to do item and once again refresh the values and you should see the updated list in the activity so the discussion that we had was so far about the interaction between the repository and the SQLite database. Now the next part is what exactly happens between the repository and the view model. We will see that in the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.